Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another haul edition here at A Week in Geekdom. Uh, at the end of every month, I'd like to highlight all the stuff I got. And if you like something and you want me to review it, let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, as always, thank you for the massive support. I'm so happy that we finally got past the uh, 1500 mark. Uh, I, I really excited about that and I cannot wait to bring you guys more and more content every week if possible and uh, yeah uh, I have a lot of items here and uh, again um, last month I got some really cool requests to review some of the books and I will be tackling those soon just hang in there <laughs> there's a pretty massive queue list but I am uh, working on it I'm currently uh, uh, reading some of those books uh, so yeah soon soon <laughs> So let's get started with uh, some manga, because I love me some manga, and this is Volume 4 of Ran and the Grey World. Take a look at that beautiful artwork. I love the covers to this series, and the art in it is splendid. I mean, look at that. That is, that is pretty fantastic. You can see the artwork right there. Stuff like that is all over uh, this book. And I will be doing a video on it. Uh, I was going to wait because the series is seven volumes. This is volume four. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, a spoiler free review on the first three, the first half of the series. And then I might do a uh, spoilerific discussion once I finish the whole series. I might do that soon. <laughs> uh, next up, I only had volumes one. Uh, how many did I have? Volume 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, the first three volumes. So I got the next three of a series that I am just loving on all cylinders. I reviewed the first book a while back. And uh, here it is, Dr. Stone, Volume 4. Uh, volume 5. And Volume 6. And as you can see, let me show you a little bit of the art. Um, just... And Boichi just firing on all cylinders. I love, love his artwork so much. It's pretty freaking fantastic. And uh, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen the anime, I should say, or, the, or read the manga, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead. It's easily one of the best things you'll read uh, as of late when it comes to Shonen Jump, in my honest opinion. Speaking of Shonen Jump, I got more titles. Here is Hunter Hunter Volume 36. Always happy to have more of one of my favorite Shonen titles. Here it is, volume 36. I mean, it does have a lot of dialogue, <laughs> which a lot of people make fun of, but I don't I don't I don't mind. You know, there's such a massive world building going on in this series that uh, yeah, I don't um, I don't really mind. So, Hunter Hunter 36, My Hero Academia volume 20, continuing to be great, one of the uh, modern classics if you will. Just wonderful art. Charming story, great characters, just a lovely world. My Hero Academia, Volume 20. I want to give a massive shout out to my friend Nelson. We did a cool little trade. I gave him some manga that he wanted to read, and in exchange, I wanted something that I was going to go out and and buy it either online or a retro gaming store, if you will, because I am on a kick when it comes to gaming again. Uh, and I, I never had this in my collection, ever. So he traded me his uh, Game Boy Advance SP. So here's uh, the black edition. And he was kind enough to add some really cool games to it. Here is um, uh, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario uh, World, Super Mario Advance 3, I should say, sorry. Here we have um, Game & Watch Gallery number four. And I got this, I was lucky enough to find it legit because I know <laughs> there's a ton of bootlegs out there um, but I did get a uh, legit copy of Metroid Fusion for GBA and we'll come back to this in a couple uh, couple minutes at the end of the video so yeah uh, Nelson was kind enough to give me that Game Boy and to my surprise he packed in some goodies the games and the first volume of something I've been really itching to read ever since I uh, heard about it. It is Nurse Hitomi's Monster Infirmary. Uh, don't let the cover deceive you. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Basically, she's a, a, a Cyclops uh, nurse uh, helping people with 
strange superpowers and abilities and all that stuff. Uh, so I, it's very uh, weird, funky, and kind of wholesome. So I'm very interested in checking this series out, finally. So thank you, Nelson. That is awesome. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, let's move on to comics. All right, we got a lot of comic books to review here on the channel and on uh, Omnibros Live. Oh, and I did forget. How could I forget this massive uh, book? This is Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 2. I cannot wait to reread this. I've already read this a while ago. Berserk Volume 2, just really freaking massive, man. I love it. This is awesome. This is uh, Volumes 4, 5, and 6 of the regular editions, which you can see over there. Okay, so uh, comics. Uh, thank you to... Uh, my sponsor over at the Omnibus Collectors Network and Omnibros Live, InStockTrades.com, where you can get a ton of great deals on comics and just massive deals, I should say. They were kind enough to send me some review copies that I will be doing on... Uh, they will be exclusive, sort of, to um, uh, on Omnibros Live very soon. I'm currently reading these books to review them over there with the guys. But I will be reviewing them eventually on this channel as well. But here is Murder Falcon, which is freaking fantastic. I love this book so much. It's badass. Um, Green Lantern, Intergalactic Law. This is the first volume of the Grant Morrison Green Lantern stuff. Cannot wait to read this. And the oversized hardcover of Thanos by Donny Cates. Hardcover. So that's awesome. Uh, keeping up with the hardcovers, this is uh, unrelated to the <laughs> review copies. I had to get it. I, I told you guys I was going to get it. It is it is Aquaman Unspoken Water. This is the first volume of uh, uh, Kelly Sudaconic's run on Aquaman, which I've heard nothing but great things. And the art in it is pretty freaking fantastic. I mean, look at, look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. I love it. So, yeah. Also, it doesn't say Volume 1, neither does Green Lantern. It doesn't say Volume 1 on the spine. It says it on the back, which I thought was uh, pretty, pretty weird. Because you guys are awesome. I totally forgot that I should show you some art in case you're wondering about these books. Um, uh, yeah. Are these spoilers? Dude, I don't know if I'm spoiling anything. <laughs> Here's another page from the uh, Thanos book. Um, here's a page, a couple pages from the uh, Green Lantern stuff. From the Green Lantern book. Looking pretty awesome. Lovely art by, by um, William Sharp. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And I should have shown this at the beginning, but Take a look at this. I mean, look at that. Look at Murder Falcon. This is so amazing. This is the best. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And finally, I did get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW Collection Volume 9 hardcover. Love me some turtle action. Here's Volume 9. There we go. There it is. Uh, collectibles or whatnot. This box is <laughs> empty, but you saw the video that I just posted uh, a few days ago. This is Sonic Mania, the collector's edition, which I have on display over there. Don't worry about it. Uh, so that is it for books. Next up, video games. I should have. I, I've been teasing at this for a while now. If you've seen random videos, uh, but. I am currently modding an arcade cabinet, and uh, it's it's getting a, a ton of arcade games, and I just I've been on this kick for retro gaming. I was able to acquire, uh, uh, reacquire all my old systems from the old NES, uh, Super Nintendo, uh, Wii, GameCube, all that stuff. The PlayStation One, Two, Three, my PlayStation Four, I. I think I have most of them. I'm probably missing a few handhelds and stuff like the uh, Xbox 360, the original Xbox, but, but for the most part, I have a lot of systems and a lot of old games, and um, I'm not going to set up everything now, but in the future, I would like to 
get like this sweet freaking game room with all that stuff. I've just been hooked uh, watching all those uh, videos on YouTube from different gamers and and uh, retro gamers and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff. I am going to do a video on the arcade cabinet, but it's not complete. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go into further detail <laughs> when I do that video, talking about gaming and showing off the uh, arcade cabinet and all that stuff. So speaking of games, one of my goals playing uh, old video games, I wanted to replay all the Metroid games. Metroid being my favorite Nintendo property, uh, same as uh, Zelda and Metroid. It doesn't matter. The two of them are my uh, the two of them are my favorite um, franchises from Nintendo. So I've been buying all the games I do not own or, or never played. Uh, for the Nintendo 3DS, we have Samus Returns, which is uh, Metroid 2, which was originally released for the uh, Game Boy. So this is pretty fantastic. Uh, for the Wii, thank goodness people didn't really love these bo this game because I got it for dirt cheap. And I know it's not great. This is Metroid Other M for the Wii. I know, it's horrible. And a copy of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, which was also really cheap. Just because it's the Wii, I guess? I don't know. Still, Metroid Prime being one of my favorite series, I never played the third one. I always uh, played 1 and 2 on my GameCube a long time ago. Oh, and uh, for the Switch, I got Mega Man 11 for the Nintendo Switch. And I did download for it... Uh, um, Jesus, I forgot the name. Uh, Metal Slug. I'm replaying the Metal Slug series as well on the Switch, and it plays fantastic. I love it. So cool. And finally, let's do movies, Blu-rays, and all that stuff. On 4K, I got my hands on Detective Pikachu, the 4K edition. Looks really cool. Like, Pikachu looks great in 4K. That's awesome. I love this movie so much. It's not, like, the 100% most awesome movie of all time but man the nostalgia and I, I love the Pokemon franchise ever since I first got Pokemon Blue when it debuted it, it was just a treat I love this I've watched it many times and it's it's pretty awesome uh, Marvel movies I got uh, Captain Marvel the uh, 4k not my favorite uh, superhero movie ever but it's still fun nonetheless to have this in the collection I am missing that's the only thing that did not arrive in time for this whole video I am missing uh, Endgame which I found a pretty good deal on it from a third party seller uh, so maybe next month I'll highlight it but yeah I did get Endgame as well on 4k I'm still missing a couple movies that I want to get but you'll see them eventually and I did get for the uh, DC animated movie collection, Batman Hush, which I know has gotten a lot of crap from a lot of people because it's not that great. But, you know, I have every single one of those movies on the uh, DC animated movie universe, so I might as well add this as well. Um, Anime-wise, I did get Hunter x Hunter Volume 6. And I'm so mad because we're one volume away, I think. It should be 24 episodes left to complete Hunter x Hunter on Blu-ray. I hope Viz doesn't get greedy as of this video and decide to split it up into Volume 7 and Volume 8 with 12 episodes each. Please do not do that. Just release one more set. We're good to go. Please. I'd love Chinibio and Other Delusions Take On Me. This is the movie that happens after the series, if I remember correctly. Got this from the Sentai Summer Sale that was going for cheap. And speaking of cheap, I also did get... Darling into Franks Part 2. I know a lot of people do not like the outcome of the series, but I, I dig it regardless. So here's Part 2. I found it for cheap on, I think it was eBay. Uh, these are not anime, but they're still pretty freaking badass. This is Godzilla, uh, The Return of Godzilla, the 1984 movie. This was, uh, these were Sentai sale movies? I don't know. And this dual pack of uh, Godzilla versus... Uh, against Mecha Godzilla and Mothra and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Whew, that's a long title. <laughs> um, what else did I get? Uh, this was a freebie thrown in from a Right Stuff order that I got a coupon for a free item, and they sent me uh, Robotech Remastered Volume 6. And this bandana, which you're all, you already know what it is, this is for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, set three, 
uh, what do they call this again? The Battle in Egypt. So, you know, you open it up, looks pretty fantastic. Got the Blu-rays and some art cards and the uh, key animation booklet collection. I, I kind of wish they would just release this, but not gonna lie, I'm a fan of owning these uh, deluxe editions, just saying. <laughs> so uh, yeah, in a nutshell, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Thank you. Uh, once again, that was a pretty awesome haul. I love everything here. It's so colorful and bright and awesome. And it just fits my taste in, in comics and games and manga and anime and all that stuff. I will be reviewing them eventually, but if you want me to put an item higher up on the list, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you once again for liking, commenting, subscribing to A Week in Geek Them, for just liking our content. Thank you so very much. I promise more content and more videos real soon. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my cue. Like me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that fun stuff. And I will catch all of you on our next episode.